Who's ready for the last episode of Diplomacy? Track three today. This is my favorite. Uh, it's also the one that is most arguably not diplomacy in the traditional sense of the word and that fewer people would use to describe what's happening. But track three diplomacy, people to people stuff. The kind of thing that is undertaken by individuals and private groups that's working on interaction and understanding between some kind of hostile communities, generally, that doesn't necessarily have to be hostile. One could argue that, for example, the Marshall Scholarship is a track three diplomacy effort that's about uh, raising awareness, empowerment, that kind of thing, with, generally within communities, but also just working to form friendships and kind of, you know, the kind of soft ties that you would have. Some may also, I should put a caveat now that I've used the Marshall Scholarship example, the tracks are often fuzzy, right? So perhaps track two diplomacy is actually a better use for the Marshall Scholarship since you could argue that it's a high level thing with influential academics, depending on how one defines high level influential academic, that kind of thing. Anyway, so certainly these are gray lines. Perhaps they're more of a Venn diagram, you know, with one, two, three, more and less formal, but some of them are kind of in between spaces, then clear tracks and you can only be on one of them. And in fact, some people use the term multi-track diplomacy, just to really confuse you. Anywho, track three, focusing on track three diplomacy. It's the fairly grassroots generally stuff that is conferences, media stories, advocacy for people and communities. It's the people to people, let's form a friendship kind of stuff. Several examples of this. Uh, one, non-environmentally based, but you all probably heard me ramble about the Jerusalem Youth Chorus, the Israeli-Palestinian teen choir that, based, that is based at the YMCA in Jerusalem, has half and half Israeli and Palestinian singers who do dialogue as well as sing together. That would be track three diplomacy. Environmental organizations that do this, EcoPeace, uh, what was formerly Friends of the Earth Middle East, uh, have a good waters need. Good Water Neighbors project that takes Jordanian and Israeli high school students and looks at environmental conservation, particularly around water use, treatment, access, allocation in communities. It kind of equips them to do some eco work in their communities, but they're doing that together, they're training together, they're negotiating together. That's track three, people to people kind of diplomacy. The Kuwait Dive Team. I just got done representing the Kuwait Dive Team at the London International Dive Show last weekend on Valentine's Day, of all dates. Uh, the Kuwait Dive Team do marine conservation. They dive to salvage wrecks, to clean up the coral reefs, as well as doing environmental education. What they do inside Kuwait is generally pretty much just environmental conservation. However, the team hosts conferences about diving. They go train around salvage techniques and coral reef farming operations in other parts of the world. They fly several volunteers to the London International Dive Show in order to talk about the Kuwait dive team. And as they're talking about the Kuwait dive team, it's things like the Kuwait flag being at the stand. It's education about the Middle East current political situation. We get all sorts of kinds of questions, of course, about Kuwait. Oh, I don't know Kuwait had coral reefs, for example. Or, you know, how safe is it to go to Kuwait versus Egypt right now? That kind of thing. That's a very soft people-to-people -people diplomacy that is happening uh, through their work. Again, track two, three, perhaps not, perhaps fairly vague. Some authors really use track three to focus on quite marginalized communities. And it's really about, kind of, you know, communities at war or suffering from some kind of pretty severe disadvantages uh, supporting each other uh, or being supported by a more powerful group or whatever. Some authors use it to just do the, you know, like what level of seriousness would this be taken, you know, by the government or whatever? Uh, or, you know, is this representing groups or representing individuals? You know, who, who's the relationship being formed between in these different kinds of diplomacy? But the idea is that International relations in our very globalized, fairly democratic, very media-driven world are happening in a lot of different ways. And it's not just through, you know, formal, I carry the seal of the king kind of stuff anymore. And so hopefully, potentially, perhaps, 
this kind of different tracks of diplomacy can help me figure out how to categorize and talk about different forms of environmental peace building and look at are things like treaties environmental peace building are things like what EcoPeace is doing with the Israeli and Jordanian teenagers peace building is the Kuwait Dai team an environmental peace builder because it's talking about Kuwait to an audience that doesn't know much about it using diving and coral reefs to do that and with that I've gone beyond five minutes so I need to hush put comments feedback very welcome any questions about any of the organizations or random examples that I mentioned also very welcome